Hello and greetings. At the very outset, let me wish you all a happy Dasra. May the Goddess shower upon us enough strength and courage to carry out the battles of our lives and come out as winners. Today we are going to take up two sets of words which have a distinct uh, pronunciation of theirs. That is, we are going to deal with four words again today in the series World of Words. If you are still not a subscriber to the channel Learning with Dr. Purnima George, please do subscribe and like and share the videos. You can find my videos on my Facebook channel Purnima George and Instagram handle George Purnima. Come, let's learn together. The first set of words for today is may. Well, it has two spellings. You know, this word has two spellings. One is male, male, another one is M-A-I-L, male. Let's take up the first word, M-A-L-E, male. Male word can be used as a noun as well as an adjective. M-A-L-E male means masculine gender of any species. Let's see how male works as a noun. The penguin males take care of the eggs laid by the females. The males in the peacock family have extremely beautiful plumes. Let's look into how to make use of M-A-L-E male as an adjective. Mohammad Rafi is one of the prominent male singers of Indian film industry. Now let's look into M-A-I-L male. The word M-A-I-L male can be used as a noun as well as a verb. This word has acquired varied meanings throughout its journey as a word. Basically, M-A-I-L male means a bag containing of letters of other articles to be delivered by post. Or it can also mean the material delivered by the post. That is male. You know certain um, trains or ships are called as male. Even some buses are called as male because they carry the postal mails to be delivered to the people in other places. For example, you might have come across many trains named as mails, right? Let's give an example for mail as a noun. I think your mail is arriving tomorrow. That means you're going to get a mail tomorrow by post. By post, you're get, going to get something, you know, that is called as mail usually. In recent times, the word mail is being used for electronic mail, that is email. Now, when somebody says mail, it is usually the email. The, I mean, the word has evolved so much. For example, Sanya has received a mail from GB company. Let's look into how to make use of MAIL mail as a verb. MAIL mail as a verb has the same meaning it has as a noun but in the verb form. For example, please mail me your requirements by the end of the day. Which means you are asking somebody or you are requesting somebody to send in their requirement to you through mail. That is, please mail me. This is how you have to make use of the word mail in its verb form. An interesting thing about M-A-I-L mail is it gets different meanings in different European languages. But we are not going to deal with all those European languages. So we are going to stop it at this. Let's move on to the next set of homophones. That is made. The first word that I'm going to take up today is M-A-D-E, made. M-A-D-E, made is a past tense form of make. Make, made, made. V1, V2, V3. 
Let's see how to make use of this word made as a verb. Saugantika made amazingly delicious patties. The physical instructor made them to come in line. These are the examples for the word made. Now let's look into the word M-A-I-D made. M-A-I-D made word has evolved over time and now it's been used for various purposes. Initially, M-A-I-D made had an extraordinary meaning. A girl or a lady who is unmarried used to be called as maid. That's why sometimes we uh, say um, like my mother's maiden name was Sudha. You know, this is how we make use of that word maid. But presently, the word M-A-I-D maid can also be used to um, house help, a girl house help or a woman house help to do any household chores. For example, I gifted a couple of saris to my maid for Dasra. So this is how we make use of this word uh, in, in the present day context. I once again wish all of you a happy Dasra. With this, I come to the end of today's video. Till I meet you again, please do take care of yourselves and spread happiness and knowledge by sharing my videos. So this is Dr. Purnima George taking leave of you. Thank you.